are sleeping pills a good idea? It depends upon the reason that you're using them, um, and it depends upon how they've been prescribed for you. So sleeping pills, there are several different groups of sleeping pills. There are old school benzodiazepine hypnotic sleeping pills. These are pills that would just knock you out. Okay? These, are not, these are pills that would affect your sleep architecture, so they won't allow you to get into deep sleep, which we've talked about before. Um, what they do is they put you into light sleep, and when you wake up, you slept, but you don't feel particularly great. Also, the old school benzodiazepine hypnotics have very long half-lives, and so what ends up happening is you're groggy the next day. So I'm not a big fan of those, unless you have a severe case of chronic insomnia, where some of those may be the only things that help you fall asleep. The newer line medications are the non-benzodiazepine hypnotics. These are a little bit different because they don't affect your sleep architecture at all. You'll get just as much deep sleep taking one of those as you normally would. Um, but what's interesting about those is you want to get ones with shorter half-lives. You want to only use them as prescribed. Um, what we're finding is that a lot of people, if one works, but then after a week or two it doesn't work, then maybe two works, then maybe three works, that's not a great idea. Um, you should only use medications as prescribed by your physician. And if one isn't working, you need to let your doctor know. What's going to be really interesting are the new line drugs that are going to be coming out in a few years that will actually probably promote particular stages of sleep. And so they're working on those now. They're pretty fascinating. Where There are certain medications that will actually enhance your stage 3 and 4 sleep. The problem is, is we don't know what that means or what that's going to do. Is it a good thing to have more stage 3 and 4 sleep when you're 65 years old or not? We don't really know. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens as these new line drugs come out.